Is he gonna drive off? <gasps> oh! Is he gonna drive off? Don't tell me. Ran off on the plug twice! <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are gonna be checking out the SML movie, um, I didn't even read the title. This is the SML movie, Bowser Jr.'s Stinky Friend. Oh, Stinky Friend? What, what video am I watching? His Stinky Friend, it looks like his homeless person on the thumbnail of the picture. Hopefully it's not, because I've had my real, my run in, my deal in with homeless people in LA. Yo, whoever lives in LA watching this video right now, like, how do y'all do with homeless people? Because I live in Texas, we don't have much of that over here. We have some, but we don't have as much as compared to LA. But still, nonetheless, like, how do y'all deal with that? Anyways, his stinky friend, um, yeah, take showers, use soap, scrub yourself, get in between the cracks, scrub everywhere, yes, even if soap trickles down your legs, you still gotta scrub your legs, kids. You gotta scrub your ass crack. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know who told you it was feminine or it wasn't straight to do so, but yeah, you gotta get in between that. Wash everywhere, don't be stinky. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Prince O'Hawkum, Instagram as well at Prince O'Hawkum. That way, you'll never miss a Prince Charming related post and you can support me on social media. So yeah, go ahead and drop a follow. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and dive right in to Bowser Jr., stinky friend. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> what are you Shouldn't making? Be, I'm starving. When's dinner gonna be ready? Oh my dinner gosh. is almost ready, Junior. Just be patient. Ew, Chef, baby, it's burnt. This might be food. Junior. It's just a little black. <laughs> yeah. Everybody needs a little black in their life. That's because you're racist. Well, I'm not racist. I just don't want to eat black ravioli because it's burnt. I want something else. Uh, what do you want, Junior? God. I don't know. You burn everything you cook. No, I don't. Yes, Junior. you. I burn you, everything you, I cook. you kind of you know, do, though. Just make me a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. He's gonna burn that bowl of cereal. He's gonna burn it. Oh god. So How are you burning cereal? Oh my gosh. Shepi, can you just take me somewhere else to get something to eat? Come on, you don't like my cooking. Worst cook I have ever seen in the world. McDonald's, okay, Junior, yeah. what do you want from McDonald's since mm. I burn everything? You're taking me to McDonald's? Mm. Yes, Junior, now what do you want? Oh, I want a Happy Meal. Oh, no, no, I want to go inside and play in the play thing. No, no, we're not going inside. We're going through the drive-thru. Oh, please, can we go inside? Oh, you want to hear my loudest You want everything. Please! Wow, Junior, right, annoying. All right, all right, we're only going to go in for five minutes, and then we're coming right out. Okay, wait, five minutes. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, God. Thank you so much for the Happy Meal, Chef PB. Man, I used to love Junior. McDonald's as a kid. Can I have some of that food? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. No, Junior, keep walking. That is a nah, homeless man. Not you. Don't, worry, Chef PB. don't say that. He's going to spend all people. of our money on booze. He's not asking for money. He's asking for food. <laughs> well, he's going to trade your Happy Meal for booze on the black market. <laughs> on the oh, black Chef market. Feed him. <laughs> no, Junior. He's homeless because he's made bad decisions in his life. That's not I was true. Abducted by aliens. See, see, okay, he's maybe, be more careful. Maybe him. <laughs> he's a little crazy. No, 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 Junior. He's a stinky bomb. Uh, what, his name's Stinky? No, Junior, he is Stinky! Look, look, I'm getting in the car. Get in the car! I mean, you don't gotta be that rude. Uh, 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 you wanna come home with me? Uh -huh. Don't bring him home, though! I'll find a way to sneak you into my <laughs> no. house, okay? Uh, okay. Hey, I'm sleeping in my house, okay? So, I wanna think of something. Oh, we can get in the trunk of the car, okay? Uh, no! Junior, get in the car right now! Don't put this man in your car! Come on, let's go, let's go! Okay, like, I'm not 100% like down with what Chef People was saying about the homeless person. Like, of course, a lot of them are in that situation because, you know, they did make the misfortune or make the wrong decisions in their life. Misfortune, what does that even mean? <laughs> but, you know, Junior, you can give him some money, you can give him some of your food, but do not bring him home, bro. Like, what are you thinking? This, it's one thing to be nice to them, it's another thing to just put everybody else you live with at possible danger. Because you don't know... <laughs> You don't know if this dude's schizophrenic, because that's a lot, uh, a lot of people, homeless people end up having, they end up homeless because they have schizophrenia, they're crazy, or they're going to rob you, or something else, or just anything above the line. But like I said, it's not to say that they're all bad, because I'm black. If a white person was saying all black people are the same, or all black people are bad, I'm, I, I, you know, I'll take offense to it, but let's just say that, I don't know. A situation needs to be the implement implemented. Like we need to help them somewhere. I don't know. We need to help them because you know they're people, but they do need do need to make better decisions. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Chef PP. Junior, hurry up and get in the car before I call your dad. Uh, okay, but uh, can I put my half meal in the trunk? What? Why? Because I don't want the car to smell like food. Okay, good idea. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot there's a homeless person back okay, there. Okay, Stinky, get in the trunk of the car. You're going to my house. <laughs> Road trip. Yeah. Uh, what is wrong with Junior? You're bringing a, right, Chef I'm ready to go. You're bringing a random ass person. What? You still got the That's food. The so what'd you it's put in the trunk? In the trunk. What is it doing in the car? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, I decided I want to eat it on the way home. Oh I'm my really gosh! Hungry. You told me you didn't want the smell in the car. Uh, I know, but I decided I'm really hungry. I want to eat it. So I changed my mind. He wants to so eat it. I check the trunk. What? Why would you do that? Because I saw you put that homeless man in the trunk. Oh, he saw. <laughs> I Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. There's going to be a homeless person there. Is he going to drive off? Oh, is he going to drive off? Don't tell me. Ran off on the plug twice. This man ran off on the plug twice. Yo, this man Junior. Okay, stinky. I'm gonna sneak you up to my room, oh. okay? Just be quiet like a oh mouse. Oh my gosh. Right, squeak. All right, let's go. All right, Stinky. You can stay in Chef Pee Pee's bed. Ugh. Be home for a With while. his clothes and everything. Comfy. No so shower. You need Stinky. Yeah. What? I, I, I can't buy that. I'm not old enough. No. <laughs> cheese balls. Okay. Ooh, I think I have some cheese balls. He, he has some cheese balls. Uh, cheese balls. Yeah. Junior. Oh no, my dad's coming. Stinky. Is there a hole in that wall? Junior, where is Chef Pee Pee? Uh, he went for a walk. Well, it's time for him to cook dinner. Bowser must have been mad. So lazy. <laughs> Darn him. Well, who is that in your bed? Uh, th that's a... Uh, Stinky. Stacy. Stacy. Yeah, Stacy, a girl from my school. Uh, okay, you know Junior. Stacy's mom has got it going on. Oh my gosh. She's gonna, he's gonna give you up, Junior. You have to get rid of him. <laughs> and she's in your bed? Oh, yeah, he's buying it. Really quick. <laughs> Junior, you are a hound dog. Uh, Bowser isn't an idiot. I didn't know you were such a ladies man. <laughs> ladies man, I can't you mock me. Oh my gosh. How old is she? Is she at least 18? She's uh He's not 18. 40? Yeah, 40. It's Stacy's actual mom and she's got it going on <laughs> and she's also the teacher assistant. The teacher assistant? In oh your my bed? gosh. I got I got to get the extra credit. And you're believing this? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, you did. We're about to get busy. So is it is this is this something to be proud of as a dad? Like I'm not a dad yet. For all you dads watching this video out here, like if you walk in on your son, you know, with a girl or something, like are you proud of him? Do y'all see the double standards? I guarantee you, if a dad were to watch it walk in on his daughter with a guy, it would not be the same thing. But if you were to walk in on his son with a girl, he'll probably be okay with it. He'll probably you know crack a smile a little bit. But with his daughter. Oh, he's flipping tables. I did not have a girl in any sort of bed that I was staying, sleeping, renting in until I was like 19, 20, bro. Not until college. So yeah, all of my years before that, high school days, my community college days, living in my parents' house, yeah, not a single girl was in my bed. Because come on, guys, I'm not going to bring a girl in my parents' are home. It's awkward. <laughs> okay, then, get busy. Well... Do you mind sharing with your dad? What? Sh sharing? Yeah, you know, a little Eiffel Tower action. Relax. If she wants to see Paris, tell her to meet me in my room. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> oh, that was close, Stinky. Okay, so what do you want? Cheese balls. This man Bowser's a freak freak. Okay, I'll get the cheese balls. Just, just stay in my room. I don't, I don't want my dad seeing you. Oh, Where's Chef PP? Is he walking All still? Right, Stinky, here's your cheese balls. <laughs> cheese oh, balls. you made him walk. <laughs> cheese ball man. <laughs> yeah. Cheese ball, man. Ew, what's that smell? It's him. You, pee -pee. you peed the bed? Uh, mm, too comfy. Oh, well, we all have accidents. Mm, my mama said I was an accident. Junior, you're way too nice to him. Well, maybe we can give you a bath to clean you up. You're too nice no, to him. Scared of water. You're, you're scared of water. You're way too nice to no. him. He's taking your love Why? for granted. Mm, I just don't understand it. No. It did? Mm -hmm. Titanic. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Well, is there anything else you want? Mm, beer. Beer. He still wants uh, his uh, beer. Oh, 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 I told you that. <laughs> oh, man. I'll find it. He's always gonna want some beer. There's some beer. He got his beer. Oh, what is his name? Oh, oh, I didn't know we had any. Uh, beer. Mm. I got beer. No, Alcohol. Got yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, beer. Hold on. 
beer. It's fine. You got another one. <laughs> if, he, if he drops this one too, oh, beer, don't tell me he's gonna drop this yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> don't drop it. Don't drop it. <laughs> Junior, already this friend is not worth your trouble. Like he's broken a beer bottle and he's making all of this noise. And you still want to put up with him, and he peed in your bed, and he's eating your cheese balls, and if you get caught, you're going to get in trouble, and you had a dish chef pee pee in order to take him home. So is he, is he worth the trouble? Like, I don't know. Is he worth the trouble? Plus, he's musty. If there's one thing I don't like, I, I don't like mustiness, and I don't like people with hot breath. If you have hot breath, I feel like you should know if you have hot breath. There's not, you're not going to convince me that people don't know when they don't have hot breath. Because I know when I have hot breath, like, my mouth tastes dry, like, I can taste it. I can even smell it, bro. So you're not going to convince me you don't know your breath is hot. You should never, in under any circumstance, have hot breath. Brush your tongue. It's not that hard. Not only your teeth. Your tongue needs some of that bristle action, too. <laughs> All right, Stinky, you got your cheese balls and you got your drink. <laughs> happy. You're happy? Uh -huh. This uh, is like I was a homeless you man Disney World. Tricks, all right? okay. So I want to teach you how to play catch. She's on vacation right now. Catch this ball in your mouth. All right. All right. This man treated him like a pet. <laughs> Junior, what is okay, wrong with you? Really close, <laughs> uh, let's try again. Oh my gosh. Let's try to catch this ball in your mouth. He's not a pet, Junior. He's not a dog. <laughs> okay, yeah, a little bit better that time. So let's try that again. Well, he's definitely not a dog. Because a dog would have got it by now. He's the worst dog ever. <laughs> Who's at the door? It's Chef oh, PV. Oh, I, I see who's at the door. He's gonna be so mad. Uh, hello? Oh, it's not. Uh, Junior, why is your dad's car parked in the driveway? Uh, I thought that's where you parked it. No, you park in the driveway. Wait, you drove? Wait, yeah, your dad let you drive. He uh, parked like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, he said that, uh, said that yeah. I'm I should start learning how to drive, so... Uh, I thought that's where you parked it. I need a sports car. I don't car. want to walk all the way to the driveway, so I parked it right there, because it's, it's easier to get to it. Oh. Well, Junior, you might be a genius. Yeah, yeah, so you guys want to see my new pet? Wait, you have a new pet? Dude, what is it? A snake? A Tamagotchi? Even better. Come look, guys. Okay. Alright, guys. <laughs> Junior, this is a homeless man. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. <laughs> no, Junior, he's not a pet. He's a grown man. But I saved him. W what do you mean you saved him? He was in a car. Look at his fingernails. Oh, Junior, that was his house. Uh, oh, I, I thought it was like a puppy in a box. Like that's, how you, home. that's how you can no, tell Junior, someone no puppy. shower. He's a middle-aged man that or probably has some hands. kind of disorder. But he's so happy. Well, of course he's happy. He went from living on the street to laying in Chef Bee's bed eating <laughs> cheese balls. That's I'd pretty be happy. happy too. <laughs> well, I just want to take care of him. Well, if you wanted to take care of someone, take care of Joseph. He's actually homeless. Facts! I don't have cheese balls. He needs oh, home. But the homeless guy's so cute. Well, oh, yeah, he's real cute, Junior. He smells like pee and he probably has lice. Thank you for actually taking my side for once, Cody. I agree with I agree with you. Oh, nerd. Okay, come on. Guys, 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 Why don't you I turn your back on him? <laughs> you know, and, and give him a nice home and, and feed him cheese balls. Junior, he can't stay here. So I have to get rid of him? Yes! Well, 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 can we at least, like, you know, clean him up and get him a job first? Junior, who is gonna hire him? This Look isn't a he's homeless. early 2000s sitcom like or well, movie. Well, 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 what if, what if, or what South if, what if Park he didn't smell like pee? And, and what if we, like, you know, got him a new outfit and, and cut his hair and shaved and, and made him look like a, like a normal With a montage with job. music playing? Well, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think we should do the right thing and take care of him until he gets a job, okay? Please let it be a montage. Yeah, I guess that would be the right thing to do. We could help him get back on his feet. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so you clean him up, cut his hair and everything, and I'm gonna go try to find him a job, okay? Is this gonna be a montage? All right, Cody, oh, I got a job not. interview lined up for you. Y'all cleaned up? No. What? No. Okay, no. <laughs> Why don't you clean him up? Oh, I tried, Junior, but I'm not going anywhere near him again. I tried to brush his teeth and he bit me. What, he bit you? Yeah. <laughs> he probably got. Oh, dude. I think I have rabies. Hey, yeah, he has rabies. Why didn't you at least change his clothes? <laughs> oh, I tried. I tried to take off his shoes and he kicked me. Well, well, well then why didn't you at least, like, spray cologne on him to make him smell good? <laughs> oh, I did, but it didn't matter. His stink overpowered the cologne. I actually stuck a whole bar of soap down his pants, but <laughs> I don't know what happened to that. I'll just have to go to the job interview like this. You know, at least they're trying to help this guy out, trying to get him a job get him lined up in a career, get him on the right path and everything. But I don't know, he seems like a lost cause. It seems like all he wants to do is literally just lay down and drink beer and eat cheese balls. So maybe you should stop putting in all this effort, Junior. There's a lot of other homeless people who would have killed for the chance like this, and he is not one of them. And Cody made a very good point. Your boy Joseph does not have a home, and you over here helping out this rando? Like, hook your boy Joseph up with some food, with, with some with some drinks, with, with, with a shower, job 
interview everything that you're giving this man. Man, like, hospitality needs to start within your own circle first. Okay, well, I mean, hopefully the job interviewer won't care. Well, what job did you have lined up for? Uh, anesthesiologist. Oh Junior. my gosh. What? No. <laughs> what, 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 come see him. No. No, Junior, no. Anesthesiologist? No! Yo. Oh, hold on, I think that's the job interviewer. N no! There's no, no way he's uh, getting well, this job. Hey, buddy, who parked the car? Helen Keller? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh man, okay. you know, some of my patients tell me I should be a stand-up comedian, but nah, 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 I don't You know. can do that too, you know, you already have 30 jobs. <laughs> well, the guy's ready for the job interview upstairs. Ouch. <laughs> uh, uh, hold, hold, on, hold on, I got another one, I got another one. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's see, I did the Helen Keller. Let it go, bro, you're not a comedian. Not, not supposed to be. You're a doctor, fireman, lawyer, what else? What else? policeman, okay, got janitor, hey, engineer. I didn't know your house was a drive through yeah, that's kind. Of, that's kind of clever, you, you, I guess. Cause, like, you kind of, you know. All right, let's do that job interview. <laughs> All right, so where's this guy who's ready for the job interview? Oh, He's gosh. right here. Ugh, why is under the hobo? Why is his pants no, down? No, he is the hobo. Hi. What is this? Some kind of prank? Why would this be a prank? Please don't give this because man a job. Because there's a homeless guy laying on your couch with his pants around his ankles, and you're telling me that he wants to be an anesthesiologist, oh, and I can see his junk. So that's uh, you can't be an anesthesiologist. No. No, he's a homeless man, and being an anesthesiologist requires years of school. It's a very hard job. Very what does hard. anesthesiologists even do? Well, they give people medicine to help them go to sleep during surgery. Well, he sleeps all the time. Okay, I'm sure he does, but that's not what we want the anesthesiologist to do. At he all. all the time. He knows sleep. And and who can help people go to sleep better than someone who sleeps all the time? Huh. You know, I never really thought about it like that. Don't give this- Kid, you twisted my arm. Look what? Let's see how he does. We're, We're gonna give this man a job. Give him the job? Don't. Yeah, I'll give him the job. Are you What's kidding me? Happen? Stop. Yeah, so, long story short, the patient died. Okay, that's what yeah, happened. <laughs> what happened? Well, I told him to administer the anesthesia, and he injected the patient with all of it, and then gave the rest to himself. Of so he's course. he's gonna be taking a nap for a little while. <laughs> So, so does he at least get paid for what he did? No! No, I'm being sued for malpractice, so in a few days, I might actually end up like him. Oh, come on, can you give him another chance? He just messed up. Why would no, you give him a job? the innocent man died today. They found cheese balls stitched up inside the patient's pancreas. Ugh. It was open heart surgery. Ugh. Well, so what happens now? Now he goes and lives back out on the street where he belongs, and I get a lawyer and hope my job as a stand-up comedian works out. Okay, like, come on. It's kind of your fault, Brooklyn T guy, that... You actually gave this guy a job to be an anesthesiologist. It's your fault. <laughs> what? All right, all you out there who don't know what an anesthesiologist is, <clears throat> generally speaking, in short summary, he gives you medicine. So while in during surgery, you know you stay asleep. You don't want to wake up during surgery. You don't want to be asleep for too long. You don't want to be asleep for too little. You give them too much, you may like put them to sleep permanently, if you know what that means. You gotta get the right amount. And plus it's always like altering, so they don't, they don't just like push it and then their job, job is done, they can leave, go home. No, they're in their surgery for eight hours or long, however long it takes, you know, monitoring it, making sure you stay asleep at a safe dose. So it's a very important job. And to give it to a homeless person, Brooklyn T guy, what were you thinking? <sighs> Would you hear that, Stinky? We're I'm sorry, did you just call him Stinky? stinky. You let me hire a man named Stinky to <laughs> have a surgery? You hired him! I don't know that's his real name, I just call him that because he is Stinky. Oh no, I noticed he was Stinky, oh, I just didn't gosh. think that was his name. Because if I thought that was his name, I never would have hired him in the first place. You hired him though. I just want you to know that. But you hired him, well, you stinky, can only blame you yourself. Up, let's eat some cheese balls together. Oh man, these cheese balls are good! He does not. That smells like pee. He doesn't hey have food, does he? Junior, I think the homeless guy peed in Chef Peavy's bed. Oh, he did. Yeah. <laughs> well, how'd it go, Junior? Oh, he got the job. What? But then he got fired. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm just gonna try to find him another job. No, 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 Junior, I have to talk to you about something serious. Wait, All right. Right. Well, let's, let's, no, no, not this time. What's the serious junior, talk? Stinky needs to go. Okay. To the bathroom? But no, well, I mean, yeah, probably. He needs to get out of here. He needs to go away. <laughs> like, to the vet? Put him on the street! Yeah, I'm, I'm saying you need to get rid of Stinky. But get rid of Stinky? But why? Well, Junior, look, Stinky doesn't belong here. He, he needs to be outside. <laughs> They're talking like he's a dog. He needs to be outside, free, in the wild, with 
other stinkers so oh they can Oh my goodness! Play. This but, but, man but is not like here. Well, I, I know, I know, but I think he'd be much Yo. happier out there. I can't you with do? him right now. Yeah, it's, it's where he belongs. Huh. They really treat this man. Back outside. Yeah, that's what would be best. You know. And Joseph over here still eating his cheese okay. balls. He does not eat. Oh. Poor kid. Oh, poor He's Junior. Stinky. Hey, cheese ball man. Um, is there any way I can talk to you by the front door? Mmm, okay. Yeah, get up. Ugh. Come on, legs. You good, bro? You got it? like spaghetti. You got it? You almost there? <laughs> Meatballs. Okay, meatballs. That's what, that's what you wanted to say. That's all you wanted to say, meatballs. <laughs> all right, Stinky, I'm gonna talk to you right here. Good riddance! You kicking me out. Shut the door! No, I'm not kicking you out, I just... It's okay, cheese ball man. He did nothing I for you. Got lots of places. Like McDonald's, uh -huh. the gas station, mm -hmm. Walmart. Of course. But you, cheese ball man, you were the only one who was nice to me. Aww. You gave me so many cheese balls. Wrap it up, your breath smells. Okay, now no, you're, now you're really being rude. About you and I really just want you to be happy, Stinky. I love you, cheese ball man. Aww. I'll never forget you. Oh, I love you. Don't so touch much, him, Stinky. Ugh. Mm. Oh. Close the door. I see you again one day, Stinky. Uh -huh. See you on the other side, kid. Hey. <laughs> you see what he did? You see what he did? You see what he did, bro? You see you see what happens when you're nice to people? He's just gonna drop the beer bottle as he's leaving. Now you gotta pick up that glass, too. Alright, I didn't mean to be a little rude saying, Good riddance, close the door, shut the door. Like, but come on. This homeless person did nothing. Like, there is a case where if you bring a homeless person home and he actually, like, you know, turns his life over. And then I've been like, hey, yeah, Junior, you know, good for you, Junior. But he didn't do nothing. He actually got a job to be an anesthesiologist and he ruined it so badly. He effed it up so badly. And you put cheese balls in the, the patient? I don't know. This dude was just bad on every check on the checklist. So you shouldn't be missing him. Good riddance. Shut the door. Say goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Uh, see you never. <laughs> Where's Chef Peepee? Okay, guys, I got rid of him. Is he still walking? <laughs> yeah, you're a good dude, dude. Oh, thanks, guys. You know I do anything but you guys. Chef Peepee's right? still walking. Yeah, yeah dude. So, um,. Can I stay here since you were going to let that homeless guy live here? Uh, uh Cody, uh, I never noticed how pointy your hat is. Wow. That's pretty pointy. Dude, I'm literally You're homeless. so messed up, on Junior. The street every night. Cody, like, is that, like, is that an ice cream? How about your friend? I think it's a wand. Oh. Dude, I haven't had a good shower in weeks. Wow. Years. Uh, can you even see out of those glasses? Wow. <laughs> God, what would I be noticed? Oh. There's Chef Peepee! Chef Peepee! Oh, somebody's back! Uh, Junior, why is he so mad at you? Because I pulled the car in my Yo! Wow, okay, so that's why the car's like that. Yeah, that's why the car's like that. Cody, I need a favor from you. I need you to lie for me. I'm not gonna do it's that. It's time to go, bro. Junior, you are so Ooh. dead! Where is that homeless guy? Uh, what homeless guy? The homeless Look at guy Joseph and the cheese balls. <laughs> I didn't pick up no homeless guy from McDonald's. Yes, you did, Junior! You stole the car, and I had to walk home nine miles, and my feet hurt! Nine miles?! Shut up! And you could have called an Uber. But I didn't have my phone because the phone was in the car. Do y'all know how long it takes to walk nine miles? Maybe I did not speed off in the car. That's that a long me. walk. Then who was it, Junior? It was Cody. What? Cody wasn't even in the car. Yeah, he was. Uh, we, we remember he was up, we were, he was at McDonald's. Yeah, that's like a three-hour walk. And he Four hours. the car and he said, uh, "Junior, let's go for a joyride." So he jumped in the driver's seat when Is you got out, and then we sped off. <laughs> no, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, 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 you did. You did do that. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. But I didn't do it though. You say you did it. Junior, no, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, you Junior, you just told me what happened. You did it, not me. No, but you did it. It's probably, a, it's it's probably more of a. Uh, I'm not gonna say it because I didn't do it. You did. You did do it. Three Okay, fine. Two and a half. See, he said he did it. Yes, I heard it. I heard it all. I see. But I heard the whole conversation. I heard you tell him to say it. Yeah, see, I didn't do it. But but but, but it ended with him saying he did do it. So y you heard that? Does anybody smell burning cereal? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh yeah, we left cereal on fire like earlier. Why was it on fire? Whatever he burns anything, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you did do it though. That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Wow, that was a long SML episode, but I loved it. Oh my gosh, bro. He really dished Chef PP. Pee -pee. Bro, this ha that had to be one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. He made him walk nine miles, bro. Now, hold on. I really gotta figure out 
right now. How long does it take to walk nine miles? Okay, I was right. It takes about three hours to walk nine miles because it takes 15 to 20 to walk one mile. And I'm sure not a lot of y'all are fast walkers given that we live in America and a lot of y'all are overweight. <laughs> so I was kind of right. Three hours to walk nine miles. Sheesh, that's a lot of walking. I remember I had to walk, uh, what, back from school um, one day. It was like, say, at school, and it was like a traditional walk home from school on the last day of school. This was like intermediate school, fifth grade, sixth grade years, so, you know, it was kind of fun to do, but wow, that was only a 45 minute walk, nowhere near three hours, goodness gracious. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Prince O'Hawkham, Instagram as well, at Prince O'Hawkham, that way you'll stay updated on anything Prince Charming related, and that way you can support me on social media. So yeah, go and drop a follow. But that was it for this video, guys. My name is Prince O'Hawkham, stay charming, my friends. Thank you.